Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a ribbon hair bow holder. These are really cute to hang in your child's room to store and organize all those hair bows that get cluttered. And it's really inexpensive to make and um, it's really simple. So today for your project you're going to need a um, package of petals. I'm using two different colors today. I get these from Boutique Supply Company. You're going to need felt circles. Um, I made a special glitter dot for mine, but you can use um, these cute little rhinestones for the center of your flowers. Um, get these at Boutique Supply Company as well. You're going to need a shower hook circle. It's for hanging your shower curtain. Or you can buy an O-ring, which is a little more expensive. These work just fine, and they are very inexpensive to buy. You can, and then the ribbon, uh, I suggest one yard, well, three feet or one yard of 100% gross grain ribbon, and I suggest the one and a half width, so 1.5 inches wide. It's the wider size. Um, and then hot glue and a pair of scissors, and of course your unorganized hair bow clips, so, so you can sh store them. All right, so I've already made a flower, and I already had a cute glittered center, so I'm... all you do is you basically take your petals, stack a few. Of course, you wouldn't use all these petals that come in the packages. You can make two or three things with these, maybe some hair bows. But I usually use a total of about three to four petals because I don't want it to be too heavy or bulky. My suggestion would be to use at least three, three large, and then maybe one or two of the small. And then I would hot glue those together and set it aside, and it will look just like this. Then you're going to take your ribbon, and you know what else you're going to need? You're gonna need fray check. I completely forgot about that. You always want to fray check your ribbon because it will fray and get stringy and make a mess. So I have to unplug mine. It gets um, plugged up sometimes. And you're going to, I've got my ribbon pre-cut to one yard. I get on my ribbon from ribbon stock, ribbon overstock, sorry, ribbonoverstock.com. And they have a large selection. And what's really nice about that is you can buy it by the foot. Rather than having to buy five to ten yards of ribbon, you can buy it by the foot. And it's really inexpensive and you don't have all this excess waste if you just want to do one or two little projects. So, um, this is one yard. And I'm going to show you how to get that really clean, nice V-cut look on the end. Just trim it up like that. Trim it up as smooth as you can get it, and then you're going to fold your ribbon in half at the end. Try to get it as even as possible. And you're going to just take a good pair of scissors, nothing dull, and cut it to the corner. Just like this, until you get like a really straight edge. Mine's a little crooked. Just gonna clean it up a little. And there you go, you've got the V-cut, nice professional end. And make sure you fray check the ends. All you do is put a drop down the end, a drop down the end of your ribbon, like that. You could do both sides if you want, just to give it a little extra stiffness and make sure nothing frays. Especially if you're selling these, you wanna make sure it's good for your, good quality for your customers. Now, here's where it's gets really easy. Okay, so you close your O-ring or your shower curtain. You're going to put hot glue on the other end of the ribbon, right here along the top part. And where the shower curtain open and closes, you're going to stick your ribbon right there and hold it for just a minute. Don't don't make sure you don't burn your hands. And after it's on, after you've got your ribbon 
um, glued on. You're going to turn your ribbon over to where it's on the underside. You're going to put another strand of glue across it and then just wrap it again. Push down. You want to make sure you wrap and pull pretty snug because you want to get a good tight firm pull on it. Okay, so then now I'm going to add a little more glue instead of one strand I'm going to do kind of a lot because I'm going to wrap it really good around this area now. So and just don't burn your fingers. You're going to wrap it again now that you've got one good pull and pull it through the ring. Some of the glue may just kind of squeeze out but it's pretty easy to pick off once it dries. Now after you've got about two good wraps through your o-ring should look like this. You see mine's kind of popping out a little bit. I'm going to just take a little extra glue that one last strand of glue right across and Hold it down. That way it's flat and when it lays on when it's hanging on the wall it lays flesh and it looks really good. Okay. So now your O-ring should look like this. You've got your long ribbon hanging. And now we're gonna attach our decorative flower. I'm gonna put some glue right here on the center. I am going to add a felt circle. I get these from Boutique Supply. You're just going to push it on there. This helps secure the flower on um, and main, maintains it and make sure it stays on. Now you're going to take your flower. You're going to put hot glue directly onto the felt. You can put a little bit on the ribbon if you want to just make sure that flower sticks on there well. And you're going to press your flower. You can push it right in the middle. Right now my flower is a little wet because I just did that pretty sparkly center. And I do have a video on how to do that if you want to learn how to make uh, felt circle sparkles. So I can't push on the center, but you typically would to make sure it's on there really well. Then you should have your back should be looking like this. And then hold it on, press it on really tight and firm, and this should be your final product. Uh, check us, check back for new videos every day. Thanks, thanks for watching.